There are very few things in life more frustrating than downloading a shiny new title you've been looking forward to for months, if not years, only for it to be completely riddled with problems. <laughs> Cyberpunk 2077. Oh, oh, it's one of the weirdest coughs I've ever done. These days, it's incredibly rare to play a game that doesn't experience some sort of bug or glitch throughout its runtime. After all, developers and testers are only human, and small mistakes can occasionally slip through the cracks. Often these glitches are mildly infuriating at worst, and sometimes they can even provide unintentional comedy gold as your limp ragdoll body rockets ever skyward thanks to a poorly programmed giant, or the skin and muscles disappear from the face of a friendly NPC, rendering them nightmarish. Occasionally, however, a bug or glitch can make a game completely unplayable, forcing angry audiences to reset their consoles, load previous saves, or completely reinstall their PC's operating system. We'll get to that one, don't you worry. I'm Peter from Triple Jump, and here are the 10 worst game-breaking bugs. Number 10. The Stubborn NPC – Assassin's Creed Odyssey Escort missions are a pain in the bottom at the best of times, as you usually end up slowly plodding along with some NPC who hasn't got the first idea of what the meaning of haste is, and who seems to think that the appropriate response to enemy fire is to run into the area where all the bullets are not ideal. It is rather unusual, though, to find an NPC who just stubbornly refuses to move at all, but this is exactly what players came across when playing 2018's Assassin's Creed Odyssey. During the quest I, Diona, players are tasked with escorting the fair maiden into the city, but an issue with the AI meant that she would just stand in one place and refuse to move. This was an issue because it meant that players were unable to finish the quest, and the only way to get around it was to keep shoving the woman until she ended up in the right spot. This fix might not sound like the end of the world, but it's worth bearing in mind that she stopped a good distance from where she needed to end up, and walking into her only propelled her a few inches, so getting her to the right place ended up being a ton of work for a lot of unfortunate players. Number 9. The Patch That Corrupted Saves – Returnal now gather round, boys and girls, because here we have the PS5 exclusive Returnal to remind everyone that despite the technological advancements that have been made with the latest generation of consoles, their games still aren't infallible when it comes to game-breaking bugs. Knock knock. Who's there? KGB. Indeed, mere days after Eternal's April 30th release, the dozen or so people who were lucky enough to have gotten their hands on the ever-elusive PS5 found that the game had gone somewhat wonky thanks to an update that was supposed to resolve a number of issues. Patch 1.3.3 that rolled out on the 5th of May promised to fix one or two bugs and glitches that players had come across. However, the whole thing completely pooped the bed and ended up correcting corrupting players' saves and giving them a recurring something went wrong pop-up. They certainly weren't wrong there, I can tell you that. The patch was pulled pretty quickly by developer Housemark, and patch 1.3.4 was rolled out the following day, fixing the issue. But for a rather rough 24 hours, several people were left completely unable to play the game, and considering that Returnal set people back the best part of 70 entire British pounds, well, it's just not really on, is it? Number 8. Stuck in a Lift – Mass Effect if you've ever been stuck in a lift, you will know that it's a pretty awful experience. Not only do you have to deal with the feelings of being trapped and wondering just how long that bag of quavers in your rucksack will last you if it comes down to it, but there's also the risk you'll have to make awkward small talk with a co-worker you really don't like. Some unlucky space fans got to experience the digital equivalent of this back in 2007, as it was not uncommon for Mass Effect's lifts to just 
just stop dead. The elevators were already the bane of most players' lives as it was, on account of them being so darn slow. However, they were a somewhat necessary evil, as they were there to mask the game's loading times. Every so often, though, the lifts would get stuck, leaving players with no option but to exit the game and reload their last save. Which is annoying at the best of times, but if you haven't made the effort to quick save for several hours, it's downright frustrating. Thankfully, the issue was patched out, and has seemingly failed to make a return in the Legendary Edition. Which is lucky, because we've just about run out of comments to make about the weather on Navaria. Any other small talk ideas, anyone? Number 7. The Inescapable Nightclub, Batman Arkham Origins if you're anything like about half the staff at Triple Jump, every time you've ever been to a nightclub, you've probably felt like you were going to be stuck there forever, like some awful reimagining of Groundhog Day, only with sticky floors. Unfortunately for some players of Batman Arkham Origins, this turned out to actually be a thing that could happen, as a bug in the game meant that one of the game's nightlife spots became impossible to escape. If players decided to undertake a spot of exploration between kicking some bad guy ass or ass if you want to get Simon Miller about this, they could find the My Alibi Nightclub, which is meant to be entered as part of the Cold Cold Heart mission. Going in at the wrong time, however, would cause the game to have a tantrum, leaving Batman aimlessly wandering around in an empty space. Reloading the game just made things worse, as this would send our beloved hero plummeting into nothingness, destined to fall into the void forever. Though this problem has since been patched out by the developer, prior to this, the only way to save Batman from his eternal freefall was to completely reset the game and start from scratch. Oh, and you thought bat nipples and Mr. Freeze's puns were the worst things to ever happen to the franchise. Number 6. Reaching the Edge of the Map – Minecraft One of the best things about Minecraft is the fact that, if you so wish, you can spend hours just wandering for what seems like miles, soaking in the pixelated sights and exploring all that the map has to offer. As large as the procedurally generated worlds are, however, they are finite, and eventually you're going to find yourself wandering into an invisible wall. It wasn't always like that though, as in earlier versions of the game, any player patient enough to venture all the way to the edge of the map would simply fall into the abyss without warning. This sounds hilarious, until you realise that doing so kills your character, and that means any tools, items or materials they were carrying with them at the time were also yeeted into the great beyond. Fortunately, Mo Yang recognised that this was a major flaw in the game, and it was patched out in version 1.7 meaning no matter how adventurous players are feeling, there is no danger of tripping and accidentally falling into another dimension. Sadly, you've still got to keep an eye out for those creepers though. Okay, there's, there's one right behind me, isn't there? Brilliant. Number 5. The I Love You Code – The Legend of Zelda – Ocarina of Time if you grew up with the likes of the Nintendo 64, you probably remember all the fun things that we players had to do to get the cartridges working. Usually, blowing into it would dislodge any bits of dust that had settled in there, and we could all be on our merry way, even though Nintendo actually told people not to do that. Sometimes, however, this wouldn't quite be enough to get the game functioning as it should, and strange things would happen on screen. Perhaps the most bizarre of these was found by players who inserted their Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time cartridge incorrectly. Anyone unfortunate enough to get the pins misaligned would end up with a black screen and a whole bunch of lines of code. All fairly normal so far, nothing really to see here, only between all of that code were the words I love you, which are fairly innocuous in and of themselves, but in the context of a game gone wrong, they become downright spooky. Rumours of the phenomenon naturally circulated the gaming community, and all over the world, curious N64 owners began tilting their cartridges every which way to try to trigger the ominous message. Do you all want to get cursed? Because that is how you get cursed. Number 4. Self-Corrupting Save Files – Soul Calibur 3 
When Soul Calibur 3 was released back in 2005, everyone expected there to be some fighting, but most people assumed it would be in-game and not between angry siblings who had accidentally corrupted each other's save files. In the good old days of the PlayStation 2, memory cards came with a small and finite amount of storage space, which often meant playing a bit of save data Tetris in order to save newer games at the expense of older ones. Unfortunately, a bug in Soul Calibur 3 meant that deleting any save older than the Soul Calibur 3 save would corrupt it, losing the hours of progress that players had made. Once that save file was corrupted, that was it, and angry gamers would be forced to start all over again. Considering that exploring everything the game had to offer could take some players in excess of 40 hours, that's an awful lot of effort that could be wasted very easily. The only way around it was to use a completely empty memory card to save Soul Calibur 3, meaning it would be the first game on the card and there would be no older saves to delete by accident. That wasn't ideal though, and it definitely didn't bring back anyone's lost games. Number 3. The Demon Demo Disc, Beautiful Joe 2. This one is a bit of a wild card entry by our t-shirt, by the way. Because it wasn't Beautiful Joe 2 itself that caused players problems, but rather a demo version that came free with copies of PlayStation Underground magazine. The demo was offered alongside the magazine around Christmas 2004, and allowed excited players to get a small taste of the cel-shaded beat-em-up action before going out to purchase the full game. Unfortunately, this wasn't the only gift in the disc's metaphorical stocking, as anyone who loaded it into their PlayStation 2 consoles found that it wiped their memory cards. To add further insult to injury, it wasn't just the memory card associated with the Beautiful Joe 2 save, but any and all cards that were inserted into the machine at the time. This meant that hours and hours of gameplay were lost in mere seconds with absolutely no way to restore them. Sony did acknowledge the glitch and email a warning and an apology to PlayStation Underground members, but by that point it was far too late, and for many people who had bought the magazine, the damage was already done. Beautiful Joe 2 itself was at least a half-decent title though, so silver linings? No, no, probably not. Number 2. The Overzealous Uninstaller, Half-Life the OG Half-Life, released by Valve in 1998, was, and still is, considered to be one of the best games of all time, and paved the way for a whole load of brilliant first-person shooters. Like many great things, however, it was not without its flaws, and perhaps one of the most fundamental was the fact that trying to uninstall it came at a hefty price. Namely, everything in the player's Program Files folder. The Program Files folder contains well, files for programs, you know, like games and stuff. That's where they go, they all, they all just go in there. And for the most part, the system has worked perfectly well over the years. That was until the Sierra Uninstall Utility got involved in proceedings, as rather than just clearing out the files and folders where Half-Life was stored, it deleted the entire root folder along with everything else that was stored in it. Fortunately, this wouldn't have affected too many people because, let's be honest, who in their right mind would get rid of Half-Life? But jokes aside, Valve have since released Half-Life Source, a port which runs on Half-Life 2's engine, meaning that even if you do decide to uninstall the game, you can do so safe in the knowledge that it isn't going to wipe your PC. And number one, the upgrade that bricked PCs, EVE Online. It's one thing to come across a glitch that breaks a game, but it's not often we come across one that breaks players' entire PCs. Sadly though, this is exactly what happened when EVE Online players downloaded an upgrade in heavy air quotes that was supposed to improve the game's graphics. Instead, what they ended up with was a piece of software that deleted boot.ini from their computers. To the uninitiated, this might not sound like such a big deal, but we can assure you it most certainly is. Removing boot.ini basically breaks the PC by rendering Windows completely useless. The only way to resolve it is to reinstall the operating system, which will make the computer work again, but sadly won't restore all of the files that have been lost. 
The issue with the upgrade was resolved very quickly, but for the unfortunate handful of players that were affected, the damage was already done. All credit to the developers, they did hold their hands up, admit their mistake, and work with the affected players to ensure they were put in contact with technicians who could help, but let's be honest, this should never have happened in the first place. So the next time you're ranting at your Xbox because your horse just ended up on someone's roof, just remember, it could always be much, much worse.